Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Rob from Heroes Avenue. Happy Friday. Hope you guys are all doing well out there. We surprisingly have a lot to talk about in today's video, and it's going to cover both the MCU and the DCEU, and they're probably a little bit more interconnected than you think, so you're going to probably want to stick around for all of that. And we're also going to be talking about Henry Cavill's comments at the end of this video, uh, comments in regards to the Snyder Cut, and uh, those are pretty interesting, too. So we're going to start off right here with the MCU news. But it, again, like I said, it's going to have to do with what DC is doing as well, at least from what I'm thinking. So let's check this article out. It says right here, from The Hollywood Reporter, Spider-Man 3 Jolt, Jamie Foxx returning as Electro exclusive. So this is absolutely nuts. Jamie Foxx, absolutely love him as an actor. I've loved him since the Jamie Foxx show, and he's just shown incredible, an incredible amount of range in his, in his, in his acting skills as of late and recently just played a superhero kind of on Netflix recently. I forgot what that movie's called, but you guys should check, definitely check it out. Anyways, I'm getting a little too far off topic here. It says right here, um, the next Spider-Man movie is getting a major jolt. Jamie Foxx, who played classic Spidey villain Electro and Andrew Garfield's Amazing Spider-Man 2, is in final talks to reprise his role as, uh, or for the latest Spider-Man installment starring Tom Holland and being made by Marvel Studios and Sony Pictures. So that is absolutely insane. I'm not going to go into too much right here. Uh, if you want to check it out, check out The Hollywood Reporter. Anyways, my thoughts on this, right? So um, this is absolutely insane, first of all, because you know this is, these are two different universes and two different eras of Spider-Man. Andrew Garfield, first of all, obviously, was Tobey Maguire. Then Andrew Garfield's run as Spider-Man and... It kind of ended in kind of a dud, though I did enjoy a lot of aspects of those Amazing Spider-Man movies. Uh, Jamie Foxx's Electro really wasn't one of them. And uh, I didn't hate him, but I didn't really love him uh, as, as, as Electro. And maybe it's because of how he was written. Maybe it was the script overall. Because a lot of us, if I remember correctly, were really disappointed with that movie. And, you know, to see him reprising his role is more surprising and exciting because it looks like we're going to be seeing the multiverse or the Spider-Verse play out in live action. Because, of course, we saw the incredible uh, animated Spider-Verse movie. Whatever you think of that, about that movie, um, it was it was incredibly successful. And I happen to love that movie. I uh, won some early screening tickets from our comic book, a local Bay Area comic book shop, and absolutely loved it. Blew, blew me away. And there was a lot of speculation that we'll eventually get this in live action as of late. And it looks like with Jamie Foxx potentially joining up with Spider-Man 3, with the Tom Holland Spider-Man, that is like one step closer. Of course, we know that Doctor Strange 2 is uh, is going to be doing a multiverse, and from reports, Kevin Feige wants to compete with what DC is doing uh, on in regards to The Flash, because we know we're going to get multiple Batman, we're going to be getting different versions of the superheroes in the Flashpoint movie that, Andrew, that uh, Andy Muschietti is going to be directing. So Kevin Feige, always trying to be a step ahead of things, is, it looks like he's moving forward with uh, this Spider-Verse movie, and maybe we'll get a hint of that in Doctor Strange 2, The Multiverse of Madness. And if you ask me, it's a pretty smart thing to do on from his point of view. Um, obviously, Spider-Man Spider -Man is one of the most popular superheroes uh, next to Batman, I think, who's the most popular. I can't remember off the top of my head, guys. Just... I know Spider-Man is one of the most popular superheroes for for most people, but uh, I'm just I'm excited about this. I think this could be really awesome. You know, Tom Holland. You know, whether you like him or not, and and to to be fair, I think he's okay as this. I, I think he's okay as Spider-Man. Uh, I didn't really like Homecoming after watching it multiple times. I'm not. I'm sorry, not Homecoming. I didn't want. I didn't like Far From Home that much after watching it multiple times. Darren feels differently, I know, and a lot of you guys may feel differently. But you know, I was just kind of. I was. After a couple watches, I was a little unimpressed. Uh, I think I think the movie just didn't land with me and resonate with me so much. Definitely a lot of shocking moments in there, though, especially at the end when J. Jonah Jameson kind of showed up and then it and it was revealed where Nick Fury was at and everything. So that was really surprising, and I'm excited to see Jamie Foxx potentially return to this role because I can I think it'll give Spider-Man and uh, the and and all the Spider-Man fans out there. Uh, a little bit of hope that we'll get to see our other beloved Spider-Mans back in the suit. So I think that's pretty exciting. Jamie Foxx, like I said, is is an incredible actor, and I think given a second chance, I think he and, and better writing, I think he could do a lot better. Tom Holland, I actually just saw him on Netflix. 
don't think I'm trying to hate on Tom Holland because I just recently saw him on a, ne a Netflix movie called Devil All the Time. And actually, Robert Pattinson in that movie, Bill, I think it's Bill Skarsgård. I forget which of the Skarsgårds is in that movie. But there's a, an amazing cast in there. Tom Holland absolutely killed it in that role. So I know Tom Holland has the acting chops. You know, we see, we see glimpses of it here and there. But um, I'm hoping this Spider-Man 3 movie is going to... Uh, Kind of bring me back on board for this MCU Spider-Man because overall I think he's okay. Um, but let me know what you guys think about Jamie Foxx returning uh, as Electro. Maybe we'll get him in a comic accurate suit. Yeah, right. That's probably not going to happen. Uh, but uh, let me know what you guys think about him joining back as Electro. And with the the news that he's coming back as Electro, we also got to talk about this. Just a question for you guys. I saw this on Twitter and I thought it was a great question to ask. So this is from at enemies underscore allies, Blake the villain. He says, with the news of Jamie Foxx returning as Electro for the MCU Spider-Man 3, didn't think I'd ever say that, would you want to see any of the other villains come back with the same actor or a new actor? Now, of course, we all want to see all these actors come, or all these characters come back, but which one of these, I'm asking you guys, do you want to see come back if you could? I think obviously we got William Defoe as uh, Green Goblin, we got Doc Ock, I forget the actors' names for the next few, um, Paul something for Rhino, um, but which one of these guys would you like to see come back? Uh, obviously Doc Ock was in Spider-Man 2, one of the greatest comic book movies still out there, um, he'd be a popular choice for sure. We didn't get to see Rhino uh, really fully realized, I thought, um, I think out of all of these, uh, if they brought back William Defoe as Green Goblin, that would absolutely drive everybody nuts. Um, don't know how they would do that, but uh, I think it would be awesome. That would be my pick, Green Goblin, William Defoe. That guy's an amazing actor. Uh, but who would you guys pick out of all of these? Just a quick question I was kind of curious about, so let me know in the comments down below. Okay, we're getting on to DC News now, guys. DC News, on to the next subject. Um, so, right here, um, as you saw in the thumbnail, Amber Heard... Uh, may be coming back for more. Um, now, this is a Deadline article. It says, Johnny Depp requests delay of $50 million defamation trial to accommodate Fantastic Beasts 3 filming. I'm not going to read the whole article here, but I'll just kind of sum up the most important parts. Basically, you guys know that Johnny Depp and his wife or ex-wife, Amber Heard, they're in a heated battle right now. Um, a lot of people claiming a bunch of different things. Publix first went against uh, uh, Johnny Depp now kind of defending him after a lot of things that got revealed about Amber Heard. So Amber Heard, you know, not the most popular in the fandom right now, uh, but it looks like she may be coming back as Mira for more, even though a lot of people have been fan casting uh, a new actor in that, in that, in that role because uh, obviously of everything, you know, everything that's going on between them and all the stories that are coming out with her. But anyways, so Johnny Depp is requesting that um, the, the trial gets postponed so that he could shoot Fantastic Beasts 3. Uh, COVID definitely threw a wrench into things and the schedules. But it also um, uh, it also says right here, I'm just going to read this little portion. It says, the legal papers also state that Heard has agreed to meet on September 11th to discuss the potential delay that the proposed postponement would not entail any prejudice to her, much less unfair prejudice, um, as she's expected to film Aquaman 2 sometime next year, right there. A uh, sequel to 2018's film set to hit theaters December 6, 2022. So that little excerpt right there um, from this Deadline article, record will, you know, uh, trade, kind of is kind of giving us our first confirmations that, hey, she's expected to come back as, uh, as Mira. Now, what are my thoughts on this? Well, I can tell you this. I wouldn't have been mad if they recast it or given all of the stories and allegations and some proof that we've seen of her wrongdoings. But also, a lot of people will say Johnny Depp did some wrong things or whatever, too. But my thoughts are, um, one, I wouldn't be mad if they recasted her. But two, um, I am someone who's able to separate the art from the artist. And I think if they, if, if they brought her back as Mira, I wouldn't be too upset. Now, I will say this also. Um, you might see me contradict myself in regards to that. You know, maybe I have... Um, more passionate feelings in a different situation. As of right now, I think bo both of these people just need to separate Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, and they're both toxic for each other, so they just need to separate. At this point, you know, I just want to see some great comic book movies, and if they're going to bring Mira back, so be it. I'll go ahead and enjoy the movie for what it is. 
whether or not I like Amber Heard as a person, that is something else, right? So that's my thoughts on it. If they bring her back, cool, whatever. If they recast her, I'm down. I'm okay with it. Uh, but um, I'm curious to know what you guys think, given all of the allegations thrown at Amber Heard and some of the proof that we've recently seen about um, what Johnny Depp had to say which, you know, uh, about her. So let me know what you guys thought about that in the comments down below. All right, now in the thumbnail, we're going to move on to the next last topic uh, for today. Thumbnail said, um, more to come, right? More to come. That's kind of the theme of today's video. And it looks like uh, Henry Cavill made some comments on the Happy, Sad, Confused podcast. I was actually listening to it right before uh, on Spotify, right before this. I didn't finish it yet, but I do have an excerpt of what he said that really, you know, will, will get a lot of fans thinking right here. So let me just read you the excerpt. It says, I'm really just excited to see his version realized. I'm talking about Zack Snyder. He got to be the train. I think it's only fair that the train gets to reach its station, which he was aiming for. And I think it's important that the vision is realized, whether you agree with it or not, it doesn't matter. It's a storyteller's, it's a filmmaker's right to have that vision realized. I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to see what that vision was and how it looks. Zach's got the advantage of hindsight now. It's going to be even better. I just want to see a good movie or series of movies. So I think mostly that last part is going to get people talking. First of all, Let's address this part, the hindsight. Zack Snyder has the, you know, the, the advantage of hindsight. So he's seen the reception of the theatrical version. He says he hasn't watched it. I'm curious to know if he's even watched parts of it or not because, man, I would be so tempted to do that. But I can totally see him not doing that because of all the feelings that may resonate. But uh, he has the advantage of hindsight. You know, what critics thought about it. What are the criticisms of his movies and Justice League? And, uh, you know... I, I, could, I could tell you this, that is an advantage, I do think it is. Um, whether or not Zach chooses to take advantage of that advantage, you know, we'll see. But um, uh, Henry Cavill talks about he just wants to see a good movie or series of movies. Really interesting. Um, does he know something that we don't know? Um, a lot of rumors are that, you know, this may continue as a sequel. They may keep the Snyderverse on HBO Max. There's been a lot of talk on that on the internet and Twitter and um, maybe some evidence too. Uh, but first of all, I think we got to see the finished product. We see HBO Max. If it is very successful, I'm sure HBO, back, HBO Max will bring, uh, bring it back in some form or fashion. Or maybe we'll even see it in a theatrical release and that would be amazing. Um, so my question to you guys is... Are we going to see more of the Snyderverse? Are we going to see it more on HBO Max? Given that this little tidbit that he said at the end, he could have said, I just want to see a good movie. But he goes, or a series of movies. And we know, we all know Henry Cavill wants to reprise the role of Superman. We do, we have heard that he has had a new deal as Superman. But um, do you think this is kind of hinting at Zack's uh, vision being... Um, not even only completed, but continued after after we see this on HBO Max. Curious to know what you guys think. I happen to be a little bit more optimistic. I might err on the side of yes, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a like. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Really appreciate that. Hit the bell notification and all that. Check out my other YouTube channel, my personal one. I'll be doing a lot more videos, just vlogs over there. Uh, anyways, I'll see you guys later. Have a great weekend. Peace.